This land was once completely covered with invasive arbustio trees, also called Simai Karuveli. These trees absorb enormous amounts of groundwater and nutrients, leaving the soil dry, barren, and unfit for farming. Today, we are beginning a new journey, removing these trees and preparing this land for a fresh start in farming. We used a JCB machine for nearly 7 hours of continuous work. The cost per hour was 900 rupees, making this a major investment in land preparation. The JCB helped to completely uproot the trees along with their root systems. This was very important, because if even a small portion of the root remains in the ground, the tree will sprout again and continue to cause damage. Agashia or Simai Karuvelan is considered one of the most harmful invasive species for farming. It consumes large amounts of groundwater, dries out the soil, and provides no economic value to the farmer. In many regions, farmers struggle because this tree spreads rapidly, making fertile land completely barren. By removing them, we are restoring soil health, improving groundwater levels, and bringing back the fertility of this land. Now that the land has been cleared, we are preparing to introduce sustainable farming methods. Our next steps include rainwater harvesting, water management through trenches, and dryland farming techniques. These methods will ensure that even under drought conditions, the land will be able to produce crops and trees that provide long-term support for farmers. We will soon begin planting nitrogen-fixing trees, which naturally improve soil fertility by adding organic matter and nutrients. Using the 3 by 3 pit planting method, we will give trees enough space for strong root development. Through the basin method, Rainwater will be trapped around the tree roots to provide moisture for a longer period. The half-moon method will help conserve water in dry areas by slowing down runoff. And with deep root watering techniques, water will reach the deepest parts of the roots, ensuring that the trees grow stronger and more drought resistant. Each of these methods will be demonstrated and explained in detail in my upcoming videos. This is only the beginning of transforming dry, barren land into fertile farmland. By removing harmful invasive trees and adopting sustainable farming techniques, we can make a real difference for the soil, for the water, and for the future of farming. Stay connected to watch how this land slowly comes back to life with greenery, trees, and crops.